My name is Jason Gwines. I'm a follower of Jesus. I'm a husband, I'm a father, and I'm a pastor. I think I'm a pastor because I feel called. I don't think I set out in my life to be a pastor. I feel like I've been taken on a wave and I didn't really have a choice. God kind of put me in this position. I think I'm different than other pastors in the sense that I didn't come through the traditional upbringing of becoming a pastor. I became a pastor through sort of just falling into it instead of setting out in my life to train to be one. I think the message I preach is simple. It is just plainly Jesus, that he has to be central to everything. What's most important to me is really Christ, but Christ that envelops everything, my family, my wife, my kids, my church, my community. Um, Jesus has to be central to everything, so it's the most important thing because it is the message of love and reconciliation to God the Father. I came to know Jesus on the floor of my apartment when I was 21 years old in Westchester, Pennsylvania. Uh, there was so many things leading up to that, but it, in hindsight I realized that it was a long journey of knowing Christ. But it was, I do remember the one night when I was talking to my brother on the phone and he was tying Isaiah prophecies back to Christ. And it all clicked and I, after I hung up the phone, I dropped to the floor and I gave my life to Christ and I'll never, I'll never forget that night. There was a young man who had hit rock bottom, lost his friends. Jesus had saved him, moving him from the darkness of his spiritual tomb into the bright light of a new life in Christ. My art was always a creative outlet. I, I have that bent about me that's a very creative personality and I uh, it was always something that just kind of focused me and, and relaxed me. But it was also something about people because my subject matter was always people. So it, it dovetails with ministry because everything I do is about people and I think God is about people. So I didn't pursue it because I don't have the time. Uh, life encroached and I fully expect to go back to it when I'm older. When we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. The Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and he said, This is my body. I don't think I have sort of a goal in life specifically other than that when I die, I want to face Christ and I want him to say, well done, good and faithful servant. I think if I can leave here knowing that I've affected people for the kingdom of God and changed lives in a, in a, in a way that moves them closer to Jesus uh, or gets them to know Jesus in some way, that, that's, that's an amazing thing for me.
Father, we thank you for our rock bottom moments. We thank you that you are there even in the midst of the darkness, that you are there even in the bottom of the ocean, in the belly of a fish, that you're there in an apartment in Westchester, Pennsylvania, that you're there with us wherever we sit and wherever we experience pain and loss. And and whenever we come to the end of ourselves, you pick us up and you show us your grace and you show us that you can take us beyond the darkness and beyond the grave and that you can give us new life and you can bring light into our hearts. And in Christ's name we pray. Amen.